as a researcher, we often get donors and organisations coming to us and saying, what's the best buy here? How can we design aid projects that will actually be more effective? And I think that as we so often in life, that the problem isn't with the answer, the problem's with the question. And the idea that we can design a solution, that we can design a project, I think it's probably fundamentally wrong. And that's really the reason why so many projects, even if we don't say that they totally fail, they really don't deliver anything like what they could do. We go in thinking, OK, here's my solution. I'm going to transplant it into your country, into your society, and it's going to take root and it's going to look exactly like I imagined it in my dreams yesterday. Life's not like that. It's always a mistake to say, a project succeeded in one country, so let me now try it in another country. That's always a mistake. We'd actually worse. We have projects which totally failed in one country, and then we still go and implement them in another. Why? Because, well, when I designed it, I assumed it would work, so it worked because I didn't go back to check. And the system, if you like, the incentives, no, there was no accountability to make me go back and check. We can really only maintain the way we work by pretending everything's technical, because I don't want to get involved in power relations in other countries. It's cultural, it's political, it's not my society maybe. But if it's just around, well, how do I make sure that everyone's got clean water? That, that seems to be okay. I can do that in another society. I, ironically, technology and the improvement in communications has actually made things worse in many ways. Because what now happens is, if you look at where the decisions are made, where are these wonderful solutions designed, they're actually designed by people who've never even been to the country involved. Or if they have, it's been on a short visit. Yeah? Solutions are designed in Washington, solutions are designed in Seattle, they're designed in London and Brussels and, 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 and in Nairobi, in, in capital cities. But not by people who actually know the society that, that they're working in, because increasingly people who live very, very far away from the societies think they know what's going on and they think that they can control and, and really they can't. Just as there are no solutions for development projects I and mean, you can't design a solution, we, we shouldn't try and design a solution for putting the aid sector right either. That'll be, yeah, that will be to fall into the same traps that I'm accusing everybody else, if you like, of falling into. But, but we can do a few things. We know our starting point has got to be the society and what is possible in that society and the kind of changes that, that people can do. So your first rule should be, have a look at what you want to do. Has it been done somewhere else? If it has, stop. Because almost certainly it's wrong. Because if it was right for there, it's highly unlikely to be right for your place. Yes? learn something from it, pull out the lessons, but the starting point for how you think about the improvements you want to make in your society has got to be what does the society you're working on look like and what are people there already trying to do. It's true that we can never entirely predict how everyone's going to react. So we can't, as I said, we can't we have a design a solution, but that doesn't mean that we can't know something about how people are likely to behave in different situations. Have you been able to get inside people's heads to think, well, what are they likely to do? What are the different pressures on them? And how are they likely to react and to use, if you like, the resources that you're putting in? If we say, well, we don't know entirely how people are going to behave, but we can at least think it through, then the question is going to be, well, am I going to know what really happens? A very good starting assumption for everything you do in life is that nothing works out the first time. So assume your project or your in development intervention, your investment, isn't going to work exactly as planned the first time. Do you have the systems in place not to kind of measure the outcomes and tick your indicator boxes, but to actually understand what do people think? How are people using whatever resources I've thrown into this arena of struggle? 